So you may have heard the term atmospheric river being tossed around to refer to our forecast coming up over the next couple of days. Well, what is that? Kind of similar to a pineapple express. Actually, an atmospheric river is a more inclusive term. Uh, what it basically refers to is a long, narrow channel in the atmosphere, like a river in the sky that transports most of the water vapor from the tropics to northern latitudes. We get 50 to 60 percent of our average rainfall for the year in these type of events. But when they get really strong and really intense, the strongest atm atmospheric rivers can carry water vapor roughly the equivalent to the flow at the mouth of the Mississippi River. That is from the National Weather Service describing the atmospheric river phenomenon. Now, these things can and do vary in intensity over time and location. So pinpointing exactly where one of these is going to make landfall is not the easiest thing to do from two or three days out. But what we are watching is a big plume of moisture here out over the Pacific Ocean. That's going to come steaming eastward over the next 24 hours. And by late in the day on Thursday, the western Washington and northern Oregon coast are likely to get quite wet. And to put this into some perspective, uh, the Center for Western Weather and Water Extremes in UC Davis, partnering with the National Weather Service, put together a little scale to give us some perspective of just how strong these systems can be, ranging from zero, which is no impact, to five, which is obviously very intense impacts. And keep in mind, these types of systems are more uh, expected in the wintertime. So seeing a system like this in June is pretty rare, and seeing an atmospheric river event level four along the Oregon and Washington coast certainly is rare. So if you're hearing a very rainy forecast in store for the region over the next couple of days, this is what we're watching. So let's go ahead and show you what that means in terms of rainfall amounts across the Pacific Northwest. These have changed a little bit from run to run, but you can see here between now and Sunday, the Willamette Valley and the I-5 corridor stand to pick up anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of rain. This is on top of the eight tenths of an inch of rain that PDX has already seen so far this month. June is usually a month where we're starting to dry out. This is obviously not the case this year. You can see very heavy rainfall amounts expected in not only the Oregon Cascades, but also the Washington Cascades as well. So let's get a quick look at future cast. And this is the very latest run. And at this point, it looks like the heaviest and steadiest rain will probably target western Washington first. So the Olympic Peninsula and up towards the Seattle area. But eventually, as we roll through the day tomorrow, that system slips southward. Northwest Oregon begins to get clipped by this and then the determining factor with how much rain we see will be how fast the system moves. But I can tell you that Thursday night and very early Friday look pretty wet here across the region and we may or may not get hit with another little batch of rain on Friday afternoon through Saturday morning. So you put that all together in the next 36 hours once we get past uh, Thursday afternoon could be quite wet here across the Pacific Northwest. We'll keep you posted.